10% really understands the ball game. 30% or so know something's wrong. Another 30, 40% are starting to wake up. We got to wake them up now before they start World War III as a political diversion to keep the globalists in power. Before they stage another false flag, there's no doubt this oil spill's a false flag. You got a U.S. senator that met with Obama and he admitted they're keeping the border open and keeping the crime high to force through immigration reform. I mean, it, this is what they do. This is their modus operandi. I know these people. It's so frustrating to watch these crooks get away with this. America is at the crossroads right now, and people are ready to be awakened now. If you've got a copy of Road to Tyranny, Endgame, Terror Storm, Obama Deception, Invisible Empire, Police State for the Rise of FEMA, any of my films or the films we carry, make copies of it. Get it out to everybody you know. Films are the best way to really present this info. And the best films of them all out there give people the wide spectrum breakdown for a general understanding that's put together in a very entertaining, viewable, watchable way is Invisible Empire, New World Order to Find, just out for two and a half months on DVD. So important at Infowars.com. Obama deception, fall of the republic. Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement. And yes, your purchase makes this show possible. So I want to ask everybody to go to Infowars.com today and order the books, the T-shirts, the materials. We've got four new, no, five new T-shirts uh, up on both the Yahoo cart and the Infowars cart. So you just go to Infowars.com. You click on the uh, top uh, link that says shopping cart and there's two different choices there there's also the phone number and mailing address uh, for you if you'd rather get them that way but you can check out the great new t-shirts we've got one that says legalized freedom and shows the american flag with the stripes being barbed wire people will ask what does that mean and then you can have a see if you get somebody to talk to you then you're able to really go to the next level and every person you reach Every person is, is a mind, an intellect, and, and ultimately a soul. Because, you, because I found you can show somebody the truth of the New World Order intellectually, they're going to find out this is spiritual. And I never set out to try to bring people to the truth uh, concerning Christ. I have a secular show. I, I want to bring them to the truth of the geopolitical nature. But that is the end bounty, and I'm very pleased by it. And I realize that. But I, I didn't consciously set out to be some preacher. People find out about the New World Order and find out they really are Satanist. They, they start realizing, man, this is real. That's why they have movies like the Sherlock Holmes that I just got done watching. It's very good. Uh, but the message is, yes, Satanists run things, but they're just kooks. And, and, and a master atheist controls them. Well, whatever. They believe in Satan and they're manifesting it, ladies and gentlemen. I set out to wake people up about the private Federal Reserve and overtaxation and attacks on the Second Amendment. And I, like you, fell down the rabbit hole and learned a lot. But the issue is we also need your financial support, and people are ready to be woken up right now like never before. And please redouble your efforts. Air them on Access TV. Make copies. Get them out to everyone. Get the T-shirts. Get the materials. Check out the banners on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Call toll-free, 888-253-3139, 888-253-3139, 888-253-3139. Or P.O. Box 19549, Austin, Texas, 787-60. All right, I'm going to take a few calls and get briefly into financial news, and I'm going to go through a bunch of other news, and then we'll continue with calls into the next half hour of the next hour, and then Alan Watts coming on with us, and then I'm going to get his take on a bunch of things. Uh, Carl in Virginia, thanks for holding. Welcome. Well, good to uh, be able to get on. Um, hey, Alex, wasn't part of the original purpose of militias for assisting law enforcement, such as the sheriff, Yes. Isn't there, isn't there a militia in Arizona to back up the sheriff? No. Uh, you know, the, the media a uh, 100 years ago started calling them posses. They were really called militias. I've gone back to the old newspaper articles in the 1840s, 50s, 60s, 70s, you know, 80s, 90s. And that's how the sheriff, under the militia power, could say, you, you, and you, come with me. And normally he'd find guys that were former military or that they trusted and that they would you know, deputize. Uh, and it was just really civil defense. But, see, the government and the corporate structure doesn't want citizens to know they're part of the system. 
or that the people are the government, you know, the, you know, the message that we could be armed. And so uh, even these sheriffs begging for federal help are kind of saying, I notice this one sheriff isn't demonizing these militias running around with M-16s in the, in, in, in the scrub brush. They're just saying, hey, this is dangerous. Thanks for the help. But this is only going to escalate it. Um, and Mexico is full of desperate people that the drug cartels and the government can hire. And so they're going to fight and they're not wimps. Uh, and so, uh, but maybe a, a, a coming to a head is what has to happen for people to uh, for people to finally face what's going on. Uh, but no, I mean those sheriffs, I guarantee you, they showed up and went on the local radio and said, "All right, we're going to have training next week, uh, and I need you know, people to come in. We'll do background checks, make sure they're not felons, make sure they're upstanding in the community, uh, and that they've got some type of uh, firearm training." and uh, particularly military veterans. And if you called out Americans, you'd have in the smallest towns, half the men show up and, and go down there and let the Mexican government, the troops open fire. This time our people won't run. They will absolutely beat them over the border. And if Mexico wants to attack, we'll go back down to Mexico City like we've done before. Okay, I mean, if Mexico wants a war, it's time to have it. This is a real war. Wars are with countries that border you, that are attacking you. They're not with people 8,000 miles away. Let me tell you something. Mexico starts a war with us. I'm going to go enlist right now. I want to go. I'll go down there right now. That's what war is all about. Defending the republic. It's not about killing a bunch of poor Arabs. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So anyway, if I were a sheriff, I'd be trying to assemble a posse right now. Yeah, I mean, it's okay for SWAT teams to kill dogs and shoot kids in the back at the wrong house, and they always defend themselves, but God forbid a few eggs get broken with a paramilitary force attacking our country 80 to 100 miles in. God forbid we send the military down there to light these people up that are firing at them. Only thing is our current military is illegitimate right now. Or oh, you're right. Illegal. You're right. It, I mean, I mean it, it is. It's totally New World Order run. It's. I mean, look, Obama, and this was Bush too. Look, it was in the Dallas Morning News that Rob Allen and Co., the big PR firm that Carl Rove hired to run Bush's gubernatorial runs in Texas twice and his presidential run, was were the ones that told him wear white T-shirts, have American flags, and go out and protest. And then the media, our Bush, the White House ran that with Calderon. Okay. And before that with Vicente Fox. I mean, that is on record. It's all treason, sir. And Obama is continuing it. It is just, it is, it. Think about how citizens get pulled over and our blood gets taken at warrantless checkpoints and nobody complains. The ACLU doesn't complain. But then the bill, which I've read on air, the subsection says if they pull over a group of people and there's, there's alcohol or they're speeding and they ask for ID and they don't have it and they're illegal aliens, they are to arrest them. That is that is in the bill. It isn't run around and arrest brown people. That's another hoax. It's all a hoax. I appreciate your call. It's insane. All right, I'm going to go to uh, Tony and uh, Senna, or Santa, however you pronounce it, Helen, Gabriel, others. But, I mean, do you think I like getting up here and going against the political correctness, knowing there's tens of millions of dumbed-down Americans that think of, if you so much as want to have a medical test on somebody coming in with leprosy, oh yeah, that's come out in the news, there were no cases of leprosy in 2000 in Texas, and by 2005 there were 7,000 cases in Texas. That was in the news. And I'm evil and I'm racist and I'm bad. And, and, and then people bow down to that. And then, oh, now if you're against government health care, you're a racist. Well, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with being bullied by that. That's not what it's about. It's about survival and everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. I mean, look at Obama's labor chief. Says illegals have right to fair wages. What? 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 They're illegal. Kick them out. Arrest their employers. Don't, 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 don't. See, I mean, uh, use them as a political force. All selectively enforced. All right, I'm going to shut up. When we come back from break, I'm going to go to your phone calls quicker. I'm going to try to. And I've got all the news about the attack on Iran. Uh, it, just, it gets worse by the minute.